Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cleaning and Cocktails. Uh, you know the deal. We bring on cleaning business owners. We bring on people from the industry to share their story, uh, share how you know they're growing, they're dealing with struggles, and just to get the shared experience of, of those that are walking in our shoes every day uh, and executing on, on all of our dreams of being business owners, especially here in this cleaning industry, you guys. And I have a special friend. She is a friend of mine, Carla who is out of the California area. She's got the sun there in the back. She's dry. She's not driving you guys as you see her. No, no. She's not driving. So when you see, when you see her sip on a cocktail, because we'll talk, we'll have a story on the cocktail there. She is not behind the wheel. Just so we know. <laughs> um, Carla, as, as you guys see, she's busy right now. She's coming from an account. Just thank you so much, man. I know this was our second attempt trying to do this. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for uh, getting a little vulnerable to share your story and, Really talking shop with me, and I appreciate it. No, no, Ricky, thank you. It's it's a pleasure. I've been um I've been following you for some time now, and I'm like, oh, I need to connect with this guy. And last year, you know, I was very lucky to connect with you. You know, I came to your to your event. Uh, I got to meet so many great people that I'm still in in, in touch with. Um, and actually, I, I I became very close friends with uh, one of them. So um, I'm just happy to be here, and I'm I'm happy to share nice. share my story. No, nah, and I'm ex I'm excited to share yours specifically, Carla, because I mean you've been in the game for a while. You've been up and down. You've got struggle. You've, you've dealt with some struggles. Yes. You got a story that many cleaning business owners should know and or hear and listen to, um, because it's a story on strength. It's a story on perseverance. Uh, I know we I know we met each other last year, but I, I think we were talking. We've been talking for a few years even before then, I think. So, like, uh, it, it's just this is a heartfelt story for me because a lot, you're very big on women empowerment. So I think a lot of the women owned businesses that are listening uh, will have a lot of relevancy when they're when, you know, when we dig, dig a little bit deeper. Um, and I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, I know the, the girl you're talking about is Raquel. Like, you guys are best friends, though. You guys are, like, hand in hand, right? Yes, well, you know what? Raquel and I, we bonded so much because we have uh, quite a few things that are uh, that are in common, you know? And, and one of them is, like, we're very strong on our values. You know, we're, we're strong in just, you know, doing the right thing, you know? And and it's like, if we have to go out on the field, even, even though we've been in the industry for such a long time, well, she has been in the industry even more than myself, um, you know, we'll go out, we'll go out, you know, we'll put on our gloves and then we'll just, you know, do what we have to do, you know? Yeah, no. And I love it. Cause you guys, like, again, I think even or Carla, you said this before too. And before we had our first event, I don't think you weren't able to come to the first event, but like you had said, ah, oh, Rick, man, you know, there's events all the time. And there, you know, I have to say, and there's this, you know, a few others. Uh, but I feel like at our event, what you took away a lot of networking and bonding uh and i think that's so important like you guys all of us that are in this industry it's a lonely industry um you know not all of us has family that are in our industry and just so you guys know carla's mom is driving the car yes she, she was out in the industry yeah. she was out there with her right now <laughs> yeah. so again not everybody has that carla right but like it's cool to also build outside of your family because like you said there you guys have to share the same values yeah. you're not you don't have to be from the same city at different stages of your business but just somebody to talk to, somebody to lean on. So how important has that been for you? Like having other peers now, you know, and I know we're going right into this. We didn't even say, you guys, let's, the name of Carla's company is Quality Plus Cleaning. <laughs> like, where are you from, first of all? Carla, tell, tell, us, tell us where you're we from. We are uh, based in Los Angeles, California, and we service all LA right now. Okay, and you've been in the business for 20 plus years, right? Is the, that, is that, do I have that yes, correct? Yes, in the industry, 20 plus. Pretty yeah, industry. Yeah, in the industry, industry, yeah, 20 plus years. On my own, uh, actually, we just had our 17th um, year anniversary. Yes. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Damn. <laughs> See? Yes. You've surpassed the 10-year mark. That's awesome. Right? So, let, so and then uh, I'll, I'll get back to that question, actually, because I, I do want to ask a little more on, on you as, as on the business side. So Quality Plus, if I remember, started as residential first. No, no. Right? Can you take us the journey? Or, or what was the journey of, of the last 17 actually, years? In actually, we are? started, um, you know, if anybody's familiarized with L.A. Uh, in Burbank, California, we started in 2006 uh, servicing all of the entertainment studios, big studios, NBC, uh, BET. Okay. We had those big studios when we just started. Um, and then 2008, 2009 came. There was a change in the economy. And, you know, uh, we were losing a lot of contracts. 
um, a lot of studios were moving out of Burbank. And then, um, you know, my mom was a lot in, um, in the in the cleaning of um, houses. So um, she kept on bugging me. She's like, come on, you know, let's do houses, let's do houses, you know, and then things were going down for us in the commercial. I was like, all right, you know what, let's try it. And then we were like a boom in the residential. We were okay. huge. Oh, so it was, it was the other way around. Yes. So you started commercial, but then residential took yes. off. Okay. And so then, when... um, you know, and then we were residential. We grew so much in residential. You know, we had over 22 plus, uh, you know, girls out in the field just on the residential, oh, yeah, wow. just on the residential part. And, um, and then COVID came and then boom, we lost everything, everything, Damn. you know, because we were so focused on residential. We, uh, that's all to ask. You had no commercial then you really didn't have a commercial, we had, commercial we had very little accounts. I think like three or four accounts that, you know, we were just like, so focused with residential that we were like, you know why we don't even need commercial anymore, you know? Um, and then also being a mom, you know, I didn't want to be out in the field at night, you know, checking out, you know, staff, teams, uh, just wanted to be more with my kids. Um, and yeah, we, we lost everything, you know, and it, it was hard. It was extremely hard, yeah. very hard, very, um, emotional, very depressing for me at that time. And, you know, uh, my husband was just like, you know what, I think it's just time for you to give up and just, you know, pursue your career. I actually do have a profession, you know, but I just never pursued it, you know? Um, and what was that? What was the profession? Um, what did you? I, I want. I was. I have a, my bachelor's in criminal justice. Um, so I wanted to be a detective. Oh, that's right. You want to be a. You want to be a detective. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you, I bet your quality control game is strong. Um, yeah. And you're, and <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know, and um, and I was like, no, you know, like I've been doing this for such a long time, like starting again a new career at 37 years old. I'm like, no, you know. I'm like, I'm so passionate not, about, not an yeah, answer. I'm like, I'm so passionate about yeah. this. I actually even got kind of upset at him because I was like, you know how much I've like hustled on this? Like, how could you even like, yeah. say that to me, you know? <laughs> and, and I was like, no, no, you know? So then I, I was like, you know what? I have to like redo this again, you know? Um, but you know what? It was good. It was good that that happened to me, you know, because, you know, you, you kind of lose sight sometimes, uh, Ricky, when you grow so much, you know, you kind of forget mm -hmm. certain things, you know, and um, it, it, it put me down again and it made me a little bit stronger now, you know, thicker skin too. That's all. Yeah. You, you got a thicker skin. For now. Sure. I'm assuming you're building a, uh, like talking about going back to build to the building, yes. the foundation. You know, not, you know? not only I have four men in my house. Okay. So I kind of have to be <laughs> thick skin. But, you know, when oh, yeah. things that happened, I was like, you know what? No, this is not going to, like, you know, put me down and I have to, like, get up again. You know, and then I was raised by a single mom. So, yeah, this lady was something. <laughs> you know, there, with yeah. my mom, there was no choice, you know. So, um, I was yeah. like, you know what? I have to, like, you know, um, analyze what happened and redo this again. So now it's like we're doing uh, – I, I opened a second company now. Um, Quality Plus is mainly doing commercial, exclusively commercial now. And I, I did okay. a second uh, second company now that is only doing like all of uh, STR cleanings now, which that's being big on. Oh, the short term, yes, short term yes. rental. That's yeah, it's a big trend. Yes, big... you know I. I re... Is that a different? Is that a diff? So, see, that's very interesting. I have yeah, I have a couple a couple friends. I have a girl named Mila. Do you remember Mila, Hostkeeper? You know what? I, do you remember? I never, her? She was I never at... met her in person, but I, I do follow her on Instagram. I, do, I love okay. what she's doing too. Yeah, yeah, she she's got a thing going on with with Airbnb. I mean, but I, I it is its own beast, right? Like you yes. are your scheduling, the the quality of clean, the the way you win that business. Like, so okay, so you got commercial cleaning, you got STR. Is it a different brand, different name, yes. or is it still Quality Plus? Um, it, okay. it, it's like a it's like a I call it a sister company of Quality Plus, but we call it Quality Plus Mates. You know, it's still we're still uh, working on on their logo. You know, um, for that okay. one, but. Um, yeah, that one's exclusively short-term rental cleaning, and and that's okay. and now that's one big right now too. So like, so so people that are listening, right? Like, think about it. you. You said it's almost like you hit rock bottom with the business. Oh yeah. Right? Like you, you lost everything. Yes. Uh, you were all, you were debating calling it quits. I mean, I, but again, there's a lot of people in that in that era. There was a lot of people probably dealing with that. So the fact that you were able to hunker down. And, and, and stay stay positive, right? It's all mindset at the end of the day. That's all we talk about, yes. right? Uh, 
So what did you, what are you, do, what, is there anything you're doing differently now than you did, that you didn't have in place when you were bigger, where you could say you're smaller to growing now, but like anything that sticks out to you that you feel you're, you're going about differently this time? Um, well, one of the things for sure, it's delegating. <laughs> You know, I, you know, I I always hear people say, oh, you know, well, you have to delegate and you have to delegate. And before COVID, I, I was kind of like running everything, you know, operation sales, um, you know, out in the field, supervising. Um, I was just doing a lot, you know, but just delegating and um, just really focusing. This time I'm just really focusing on the growth of the company now. You know, now I have a bigger team in the office. You know, I actually have two VAs. I have our office manager, you know, I have our supervisor, so I can really focus now, you know, so that, that's mm-hmm. what I'm working more now. Nice. And you are still just, I mean, focusing in Burbank, focusing in the LA area, right? Like there is there, you're not, you don't have a, you don't go out, out of state or outside of a certain region. No, right? no, we're still in LA. Um, you know, the goal is by the end of the year, uh, we will be going to another big city. We're still debating if we're going to do San okay. Diego or Sacramento. Okay. Yeah. Nice, San Diego. Beautiful. I know. I San love Diego, it. <laughs> very beautiful. Hi, yeah. There's STRs there all day oh, for yeah. sure. So, Carla, let, so you kind of touched on it before, and, you know, you know me, I'm big on family. So let, let's talk about, you know, you're a mom, right? You got, you got a, uh, what, three, three boys? boys? Is it three, right? Three boys? Yes. Three boys. And and I, I think we've talked about this too. Like, just the, the, the woman-owned business in this industry is growing, uh, but there but there are still doubts, and there's still mothers that will say, "I can't do it." You know, like I, I have kids at home, I can't really build a business, uh, the cleaning industry, and this and that. What what do you, what advice do you have, being a mother? Or, and also, this could change, like the age groups of the of the boys too, and the kids, how things get easier. But any tips you have for anybody who's out there debating? Or maybe thinking about giving up because, you know, I got to believe it's very hard. Like I got my wife at home. She helps me with my boys, you know, for you. Advice to, to that to that woman, you know, especially single mom that is trying to raise their boy, their kids and, and start a cleaning company or manage a cleaning company. You know what? It's, it's, it's not easy, Ricky. It's not easy. And I think a lot of the things that I kind of hold myself back is because of my kids. You know, being raised by a single mom. You know, um, my mom and I, we, we have a very strong bond. You know, I'm an only child too. So I, I mature pretty quickly at, at a young age, you know, and, and seeing my mom miss a lot of things for me. You know, she, I, I don't even have a memory of my mom ever being present at one of my awards. You know, I was kind of like a little geek in school too, you know? So yeah, she, she was never yeah, there. Yeah. You know, she was never there. And I was like constantly getting awards or, you know, just any kind of activity that involved the parents she was never there. And, you know, and that was one of the reasons I never wanted to have kids. You know, I, I guess I had that trauma before becoming a mom. And, you know, once I had my babies, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to miss anything from them, you know? And when they were smaller right now, Diego's 11, Pablo is going to be 10, and Mateo's going to um, he's gonna be six right now. Um, I feel that I've, I, uh, I love this business for that reason because it gives me that flexibility, you know, if my kids, even if it's just the perfect attendance, I'm there. You know, <laughs> but then it's yeah. funny because now Sid and my husband, he's like, you don't have to go to a perfect attendance. I'm like, I do have to go. You don't understand. Yeah, don't understand. Oh, you don't understand. This is something that don't even don't even say nothing about that. You know, because that's how important it is for me. You know, so it, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy to try to run a business and be a mom, but you do have to um, kind of balance them. You know, one of the things I feel like I wasn't doing was that I was giving a lot of prayer to my kids. And I was kind of like losing track of my business. And I was like, you know what, you know, just because I don't go to one, you know, it's not, it doesn't mean I'm a bad mom, you know, if I start, no, so no, I started, no. I, yeah, you gotta be okay with yeah that. so I started reflecting on that, you know, say, you know what, it's okay if I miss one award, you know, it's, I'm not going to be a bad mom for that. You know, I've been there a lot. So I think sometimes as moms, you know, we want to be there all the time and, and, and we're too hard on ourselves, you know, and, and mm-hmm. it's like kids, they, they, they remember just the little things, you know? Yeah. Carla, so what about, so this is something I've been doing. Uh, and Marley actually showed me or told me to do this too. Like I had thought about it, but like, you know, Vinny's two, Nico's four. So I, I'm like, man, 
can I really speak to them like adults? Like, you know, like, does that work? Like I, I hear Marley speak to them, like they're full blown adults. I'm like, what the hell? Yes. So then, uh, so then I, I started to do it now though. And you know, dad goes to work every day. I wake up and you know, I'm gone before he's heading to school. I'll take him to school every now and then, but it's when I, it's I, with Nico, especially I talk to him like an adult Carl, and I'll tell him, Hey, you know, dad's got to go to work and you know, I'm going to try to make it to, to the six thirty kid strong. Like today, we, he's got a, he's got an event that he goes to at six thirty. If I can't make it, I swear I, you might see me running in, but Nico, you know, I work from for the day and he's like, I'm like, you like going on vacation and you like getting these things, right? I'm like, <laughs> I gotta do it. You know, son. like it's part of what we have to do. And I promise you, I'll always be. And that's all he ever needed. I saw, I told him that like six months ago. And to this day, he still remembers it in the morning. He's like, boom, dad, go ahead, do your thing. Go get it. Uh, I'll see you later. Um, but hey, dad, tomorrow, though, can you for sure make it to this? Because I, you know, I, I think I'm going to get the yellow belt. Oh. So like, he'll, <laughs> he's under, he's like being able to communicate yeah. where I was like, but he's four. But it's amazing if we talk to our kids, all you got to do is talk to them. You know, don't give them excuses, just be, tell them the truth. And, I, and you're right there. You don't have to blame yourself for missing things because you just got to make sure you're there, don't yeah. you? Right? Make make some time for the other things. Um, but we don't have to be perfect. You don't need a perfect attendance oh, yeah. to be a good yeah. mother or a good father or a good yeah. parent. Yeah, you know, I talk, nice. um, and it's true what, what your wife says, you know. Um, that's one thing I've always had with my kids. I, I am... I'm very um, blunt with them, and I do speak to them like adults. And, you know, believe, kids are so smart. They understand. Yeah. And even kids give you a lesson themselves, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they check, Nico checks my ass all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, let, Carl, let's talk about, okay, so now, I don't know if there's, like, the right or wrong answer, but, like, would you say is, is residential cleaning easier for, for a parent? When they're, you know, especially a single parent when they're building, trying to build a cleaning company, do you think? Because I'm trying to look at it from the lens of, you figure the kids can go to school during the day, so you can work during the day versus at night, if you really can't work and clean accounts at night, right? If you have the kids at home, so right. would you say it's easier to do residential than commercial? As a mom, yes. Or what do you think? What's as your a take? Yeah, as, as a mom, mom yes. You know, um, I do have a lot of help from my mom. You know, she's like, she's my everything. Seriously. Yeah, I, I couldn't really do it without my mom, to be honest. Um, I, I think you can do both, um, but residential definitely it's it's better if you're a mom, especially a single mom, for sure. Residential is just yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. 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 Okay. All now right. you do have the help, so of course, commercial. Come on, yeah, yeah. That's all I was gonna say. I mean, again, that's I speak to commercial. I know commercial side residential. I, I don't have as much. I still have some, but not not too much. Uh, so let's talk about the, the, that up and down journey when COVID happened. And I know you started back up again. Was there, I mean, you, you talked about your husband in that moment that you almost did give up and you're like, you know what? No, I'm not going to. What, what kept you going though? Like after you did feel that first win and that said, Hey, I got this. Like, is there any moments that you can remember in particular? I guess we're talking like 2021, maybe early 2022, like they used that, Moments you won and said, "I got this. I can do this." Do you, do you got? You remember any of those? Moments? Oh yeah. You know, um, I was at I was out in the field one day, and um, right when COVID hit, I got sick. Ricky, I'm a kind of person that I'm nonstop, nonstop. You have no idea. I'm an active mom. I'm like running all the time. Well, I, I mean, do, uh, you're, you're doing a podcast episode after you just want to go yeah. check in an account. You're probably going to go to another account right now. Yes, I'm telling <laughs> you, I'm, I've, I've always been that way, you know. And, you know, my routine before was I would wake up at, you know, 4, 15, 4, 30. I would hit the gym five, six days a week. Just right now, I kind of, you know, gained some weight. But I was like that, like nonstop, you know. And then, boom, I got sick. And, you know, everything was so fresh, you know, when when this whole COVID thing happened. You know, I, I locked myself in my room for 16 days. I, I still remember that very, like if it was just yesterday, yeah. 16 days. You know how hard that was, Ricky, for somebody that is nonstop? Nonstop, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. you know, I, I literally had 16 days to to think a lot, you know, like about my business, you know, about my mom, you know, about my kids, just about everything, you know? And um, I, I got sick really bad, you know, as well. Um, 
I was going crazy in my room. I was going crazy. And then I started working out in my room. I started writing, you know, oh my God, it was just really hard, you know? And then, you know, after I was clear and then I came out. Um, so what really, really hit me, not only the, the fact that I got sick and then I had more time, like, I don't think I didn't even watch TV. Like, I just can't sit down to watch TV, you know? I was yeah. forced to watch TV, <laughs> you know? But one of the things that really, really happened, um, I remember I was sitting down on the table and we are like, we had lost everything. Like, even like the little savings that we had. My, um, my, uh, my boys were eating and while I'm looking at them, I, I was like, I, I, I can't, you know, I, I can't let go. So just looking at my, my, my kids, you know, they were eating, you know, this, this pieces of chicken, like if, if there was no, no more chicken, you know, it's just that, that, me- <laughs> yeah, it's just that yeah. memory of that day, you know? And I said, no, I, I that day I promised myself that. I was that I was never going to allow that to happen to me again, you know. Um, not putting my family in that situation, but, myself in that situation, you know. Yeah, and no, and then Carla, think about like that story. Is something you're gonna be able to talk to the boys about too, you know, because you know they're gonna have their issues growing up. They're gonna be, they're, I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna do this. I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, you having those personal stories like that. Because then especially when quality is still going, right? And they're going to be like, oh, man, mom, you almost gave this up. Are you crazy? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, that will speak volumes to them. And you don't, you know, sometimes you do give up. So, I mean, I'm not saying there's never a time not to give up. People give up on a lot of things all the time. There's for many reasons. Yeah. But when you don't give up, that's a story, right? And that's that's a shared experience that uh, they'll, they'll be proud yeah. of. So I hope you're proud of yourself, you know, that like, because... Yeah, man, COVID was not him. COVID was a terrible experience, man. It was. Like, the effects are st- the effects are still here, but again, you push through it. Perseverance, uh, I think, it's one of the most my most favorite traits, and especially entrepreneurs. And I think um, building. So, Carl, here's something I've been doing, and tell me what you think about it. Is I know a lot of people refer to us as entrepreneurs, but don't you think another word for us could also be builders? Like we're building. Yes. Right. You're, you're building a family, you're building a legacy, you're building a, a business, you're building an environment for your staff. You're, I know we're going to talk about in a little bit is you're building a new concept for women empowerment that I want to talk about, right? Like it's built, yeah. you know, entrepreneur is almost like, I feel like that's like a label, but a builder, that's an action that we take. So go ahead. I'll let you use that one too. You can use that for anything you want. <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> so let's, no, but let's, let's talk about, uh, uh, so again, I know you're you're big on women empowerment, but I know Michelle from my team. And you remember Michelle, right? My my brother's yes, wife. Yeah. I think you yes. guys met. Uh, she was she had made a point to to bring up like what 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 is it if you want to share anything or what anything you got going on the women empowerment concept? Because um, I know you're big on that yourself. I am. I am. I'm huge on that. Um, so make sure you're, you're you you guys stay tuned for that. I I'm working on a project. Well, I will be bringing it live pretty soon. Um, but I'm huge about that. You know, I feel like as a woman, you know, we do a lot, you know, a lot. We're, we're trying to work. We're a mom. We're a wife. We're a daughter. We're trying to help people. Um, we're trying to build. And I feel that sometimes we just forget about ourselves, you know? Like like I just told you right now, you know, I, I haven't even, you know, after I stopped going to gym, well, one, because I got injured too, but... I haven't even hit the gym for almost like what, two and a half years, I think, two years. Um, Come on, because, girl. Yeah. Get out oh, there. I'm starting. I'm starting. <laughs> I called, I called, my, my friend owns this gym and I'm like, just sign me up for the membership already. So I'm, I'm going already. Yeah. And hey, you got to pay the whole year too. Oh, pay yeah. the whole year up front. I'm Let's like, go. no, no, no excuses, <laughs> you know? And um, I just feel like, like as a woman, you know, we, we forget, you know, to, to forget about ourselves, you know? Um, but I'm, I'm definitely, I'm huge on, on empowering other women, you know, like, you know, motivating them. Don't give up, you know, for me, um, I'm, I'm just very strong. like, I just feel like giving up is like, you need to try harder, you know, like there's, there's no yeah. reason for you to give up, you know, no matter what you keep on going, yeah. you know? It's- yeah, no, I, I love it. I seen it. I saw it when I, again, what, that's one of the biggest things in my takeaways of cleaning cocktails is like, there's a group of you women that. I've connected and like it just keeps multiplying and i'm like 
geez, like this is getting big. Like there's a huge community there and you got, we need that. I, I, you know, the industry needs that because I think we, the small business owners forgotten a lot of times too. And then yes, there are the, the communities of small business owners, right? Women owned, minority owned, uh, different, you know, rural commu- a business owner versus a metro business owner. Like it's a lot of different walks of life. And I, and I think together we're stronger as we always yeah, talk about. And you know what? Don't take me wrong. You know, I, there's a few female that I, I, I follow that I'm like, okay, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, that's, that's, that's my girl, you know, but um, I, it, I see it a lot. I just see a lot of males, you know, and, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm like, I'm going to see more women out there. Like, don't be afraid, you know, come out. It's like, for me, you uh, know, uh, it's just not too long ago, you know, I, I, I was sharing, uh, you know, with this person, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to start doing this, you know, that. And they're like, uh, you know, but why? And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, this is just the, my mindset set already. Like for me, it's like, yeah. you know what? Like, don't let anybody um, dictate what they 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 should um, do for you or what you should do. You know, it's like you should be, you know, determined, uh, focus on what you want, and just go and do it. Don't don't be asking people because many people are gonna tell you, don't do it. You know. Don't ask for yeah. too many opinions, man. Yeah. yeah, you don't need you don't need you know assurance. Yeah. You're, you're your own. Like if you, if you're so. set on something, you know, just just go ahead and do it. Like don't ask for people's approval. Yeah, everybody's gonna tell you no. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the opportunity is gonna be there to yeah. say no, and you're gonna then you're yeah. you're jeopardized. So, Carla, let's let's talk. You know, this is a question I I always forget to ask every time on the show. But like, what is what are the, what is one of the most and if you have a couple share a couple but what's one of the most rewarding aspects of being in this industry for you and owning your own cleaning company um you know i know you said one already before it was like freedom you know for your kids and doing that but like is there what else is it about owning a cleaning company that you feel just makes you smile when you wake up or before you go you to know bed? one of the things that you know one of the reasons why i started this business um was for a woman like my mom you know that you know um we give opportunities in our company, you know, I wanted to, for this to be an, a different experience, you know, not, you know, the typical cleaning, you know, you go get them paid the minimum and then sometimes they don't even get paid or they take advantage of. So I'm really, I'm, yeah, I'm huge on that, you know, yes, I'm, yeah. I'm huge on that. I see it. I see you. I see you, your photos. I see you call it. I mean, yeah, you do a great job at that. That is, I, I would think you're a hundred, 200 employee company with the way you promote your business on, on your team members, right? Because that is the goal. So I love that. I love that. You you, you have you have to run it like, you know, like that, you know, because if, if I'm thinking, oh, it's just one or just two, it's like, no, I, you know, that's that's my goal and that's how I'm set right now, you know? Yeah. Yes. Love it. Love. All right. So let's talk about one of the challenges now. Now, okay, so you've gotten over the hump. You, you, you're bouncing back right now. You're, you've got the second brand that you're building. You're thinking about this other concept that, that you're building. Um, what, what is a challenge that you see right now for yourself? In, in you know, whether it's 2023, I know we're already in the year, or going into 2024, because uh, I love to talk about challenges, Carla. I mean, just because like, with a challenge comes opportunity. So like, what, what would you say is one of your challenges that you face coming into this year? You know what? I'm uh, my mind is so set right now that I don't see no challenges right now. You don't even see anything right now. I'm yes. Ricky. I'm on a mode right now where I'm like, get out of my way, or I'm gonna get you out of my way. That, that that's where I'm at right now. You know, so I'm not I'm not allowing no challenges. I'm not allowing anything get on my way right now. That's just that's okay, that's right. where I'm at right now. You know. I'm going to take that answer. That's, you know, that's positive right there. Positivity, as you know, we love to talk about being positive. Yes. So what, what do we, all right. So now let, let, let's talk about uh, next steps for you. So you've talked about them really though. You got, you got the, the new brand. Is there, so here, not that this is a challenge, but I would, I would challenge you, Carla, and you've got this new brand that you want to roll out or you have rolled out already, the, the STR side. Are you are you thinking of looking for a you know whether it's a partner or somebody to help you lead that charge or do you want to leave that leadership on yourself still right now? What do you think? Um, I think this year it's still going to be myself. Um, you know, I do have people on, on that department already working on it, um, but maybe next year, um, maybe there they there there might be some partnership coming in. Yeah. Okay. Delegation. Yes. Yeah. Number. 
Don't get yeah. you. Don't let it. Don't let it pass you. Oh up. yeah, All for right. sure. Nice. But you know what? Well, so, you know what, Ricky? I know. I I, I I'm sorry to interrupt. I know I've been bragging about so many different things, but in reality, um, you know, what, I'm 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 huge and I'm big on my faith, and I think, um, one of the things that you know, when I was, when I had hit bottom, like bad, like hardcore for me was like, you know, I had a, I had a conversation and, and I told God, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I've never done no harm to people. Like, I'm like, like what happened, you know? And I just told him, I'm like, if this is not meant for me to continue, you, you have to let me know. Cause uh, you know, you're not telling me nothing. You know, I, yeah. I was mad. I was mad. I felt like I was really yeah. upset. You know, you get to that point also where like, you're like, oh my God, I've been doing things so right. You know, and that's man. That's, that's, I got goosebumps over here. Right. Like, I feel like you had to hit that, that bottom though. Right. A, yes. a lot of us, right. I, I've hit, I hit, I hit a very dark time in 2019 with our business and it's, and it was, but look at the stories you have now, the, the again, the perseverance that you showed. You could go that low or reach that low, you know, and you're probably, you know, God, why, what, you know, what the hell is happening? Why me? Like, what's going on? I'm always, I'm good to everybody and I'm doing the right things. But I think the purpose was for you to see that you could bounce back. Cause like, look at how we're talking right now. You've got, you went from bounce from thinking you hit rock bottom. You're talking about three different opportunities that you're working on. Your business is starting to thrive again. Your mom's sitting right there next to you, brand <laughs> yes. it up like I, like, like I love to see in brand. Um, you're smiling. She's smiling. Like it, it, it actually creates another storyline for you to, to share about your business, uh, which is great for the customer to always hear. It's great for your team to see that you were able to, you know, rise to the top again. Um, Cause yeah, it's, People are afraid to hit that. I think we got to hit it multiple times, and we're going to continue to hit a lot of areas, right? Like, yes. like you said, you're not you're not looking for a challenge, right? You don't think you have a challenge, but <laughs> when it, it hits you in the face, you're going to be fine, right? Because you're going to you're going to you know faith. You have I don't I forget to forgot to men, mention that about how, how strong you are in your faith, and I think it's important. You, you know, know, it gets you by. It, it gets is, you pa it past is a, certain areas. It breaks you, or it it builds you. You know. Mm -hmm. And in reality, for me, it was like, you know, um, I, I felt like the answer that God gave me was just like, just trust, the, trust the process. You know, I just questioned him once. And I think that's something I should have never done. But when I, I, I got that information, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just let you do what you have to do. So I let I allowed God to just work his way in, in their business. And you know, this, the rest is, is, is history. You know, it's here now. The rest is history. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, uh, so as as we close out, Carla, I wanted to leave leave people with a, a couple of thoughts too. Like what what do you feel for, for those that are listening, those that are, are, you know, going through certain situations? I know, we, you know, you just talked about having faith and, and just pushing through. What else do you want to leave people with? Um, Something that you want, a message you want to get get out to people, because I think you're you're very big on on messaging, and and you know speaking to that from that point. You know, one one like I said, you know, it's um for me one, don't forget where you come from, you know, no matter how big you get, you know, and I think that's one thing I've always been big on. You know, I feel like I've always been a very humble person, so I think that's one thing that people know me for. Um, and, you know, just when you want something, just, you know, keep on going, keep on going. It's like, don't give up, you know, no, there's, things are going to get in the way because they're going to get in the way, but it's like, just keep on going, you know, it's like until you, yeah. until you hit, until you, until you get to your target, you know, a lot of people, you know, give up in the middle of, of, the, of, of you know, they just get like two steps and they're like, okay, no, I'm done. It's like, no, it's like, that's, you know, I just, I don't know if you saw a post that I did not too long ago, but I was like, there was this building that, you know, I, 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 set my eye on it. I'm like, I'm going to get that building because I'm going to get it. It took me four oh, years. Yeah, I remember. It took me four yeah. years, four years to get that building. You know, now we're going to, now we're servicing that building five days a week. And it's just that, you know, just keep on pushing, be persistent. Don't, don't give up. You know, and that that's one thing I see a lot. And I see a lot of people posting on, on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, like, oh, you know, I've, I've only been doing this for a year and I'm about to give up. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, you're, you're not even Come halfway. On you're not even yeah, halfway yeah. you know it's like people that no. we've been in this for such a long time you know we're still struggling with stuff you know yeah oh you know you don't even want to know some of the problems i have every day 
A lot of problems. <laughs> problems are opportunities, though. I look at problems as opportunities. Yes. But Carl, you know, one thing I would say for people to know, like what how Carla operates too, is like, man, I remember when you first reached out too, like you reached out, you connect. Yes. I think people are people need to know, reach out, connect to people, build that network, use uh, you know, use other people's experiences to learn from them. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Like I mean, I'm not saying bank on Facebook. It's not always the greatest resource for a lot of things, but like get go direct, right? Me and you speak to each other directly oh, Why? Yes. because the first action that you took, I responded and we build, a, you build a relationship with people that way. And I think you're only as good as the people you put yourself around and that are surrounding you. And we're going to get bigger and better together, you know? So like, I think people need to realize, you know, don't think somebody's not going to respond or reach or, or resp if they don't, they don't, don't worry about it. You did your part. You reached out, but I think reaching out and connecting is, is a big thing. I was going to make sure to leave this because I remember how we connected. Right? And I, I, I remember too, you were like, Rick, you better get some more women on your show. You call me out. <laughs> that was like the third message I got. I was like, Oh shit. No, okay. I was like, yes, I'm yes, like, you yes, know, yes, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I love this guy, but I don't see men in here. Like what's going on? Yeah. Like, I think, you know what? I think the first doing girl, way better. the first girl I saw on, on your podcast was I think Karina from um, yeah. the construction company. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. I'm like, I'm like, I want more Mojeres here. What's going on? You know, I got more. You have seen, I've been doing a lot more too. <laughs> yes, so. yes. No, you're right. I, <laughs> I, you got to do it. Got to do it. Karina's coming to the cleaning and cocktails event too. Nice. So that should be cool. But you know what? Really, uh, but yeah. On a side Go note, for it. On a side note, you know, I also want to, um, I know there's so many people that follow you, Ricky, and so many people see you as like, oh my God, Ricky is wonderful. Um, you know, you should really feel, um, you know, um, thankful and um, with God, you know, because I think he gave you a gift, you know, a gift that you, you, you pass along to people. You know, when I was in my thoughts of giving up, you know, the first show I saw was yours. And oh, that, wow. and honestly, Ricky, I think I went to bed like at two or three o'clock in the morning. I think I saw like a good, I don't know, like five or six good podcasts from yours. Oh, and that's nice. and that's how I connected with Ulysses. I yeah. actually, I, I'm very, uh, yeah, I use Ulysses oh. for some stuff too. Yeah. It's my boy. Yeah. Oh. He loves our industry. He, he loves. He's. He's, he's like. You guys are real, man. He's yeah. Wonderful. He's like, dude. Rick, this is the best thing you ever did was connect me with these people because he's like, this is just real people. Yeah. No. The one, I heard him when he said, you know, I'm out there to help people. My, you know, mi gente Latina, and I was like, oh, I'm calling this guy. No. Yeah. But, <laughs> but really, when I saw your show, I was like, wait a second, I was like, this guy. At that time, when I saw your show, I think you were, I don't know, like seven or eight years in, and I was mm -hmm. like. And look at everything he's done. I'm like, you know, you motivated me, Ricky. You motivated me, made it oh, me thank you. to, you know, to to get up again and to keep on going and 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 be the other side of Ricky in a female version. You know. <laughs> there you go. We need it. We right? need that version. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you okay, for that, man. Ricky. No. I no, I appreciate that. That's that's uh, that's what we're doing here, though, Carla, because you're 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 doing the same for others, and, I, and you know, and I can pay that that compliment back to you too. Um. And that's why I wanted to bring you on here because I thought you're, as you, as everybody who's listening, we didn't mention revenue, we didn't mention size, we didn't mention that much because I wanted people to get to know Carla, like you as a woman business owner, because at the end of the day, we're only as good as who we are inside and as a leader and as where our heart goes, where our passion is, uh, the results of that are going to be good regardless, you know, mm -hmm. like, so, so the size or the, the money doesn't really label or dictate success in my opinion um this the the storytelling the experiences that that one goes through because just like you listen to mine somebody's gonna listen to this and yours and i'm excited and hoping or that person reaches out to you and yes. sends you a quick message you, right yes so, you know what i've seen so many big companies and so many small companies and to me it's like honestly the size is just it's nothing for me you know i've been nah. i've been on i've been on the big side and i've been on the small side and I've seen both sides. And in reality, what it comes down to, Ricky, is, you know, how how strong you are with your values, you know, how you treat your yeah. people, you know, how you carry yourself on a daily basis, you know, you doing the right and the wrong thing, you know, when people are looking, when people are not looking, you know, it's yeah. not just, it's, oh, not, yeah. it's not just what you present yourself in social media or in front of others. It's in reality, what do you do when people are not really looking, you know? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Nah, man, that's strong. Strong way to end this. And yes. Carla, that like that just speaks. Oh man, again, I got like goosebumps three times here on this episode. Uh, that, I mean, <laughs> you nailed it because it doesn't matter. Like it really, I could tell you every day, and I just told this to Tony yesterday. It was funny. I am the happiest. I am smiling. I am enjoying. I'm loving, living life every day right now. Uh, but you wouldn't know that. Oh, there's a lot of shit going on in the back, ups and downs, and struggle, and boom. You know, we got to deal with this, deal with that headache. Um, I got, you know, I got a big family business. Those are, I, I love the headaches that we have to deal with. Uh, but like you said, it, th those pieces don't matter to anything as far as, as long as you are a good person and you're happy and you're, you got the right foot forward. Uh, Cause then you're content, you're happy. You, you know, you can live mm -hmm. with yourself and the decisions that you make and uh, wake up every morning. That's it. You know, we're lucky to wake up every morning. That's the whole goal. I, yeah, I, I call I call it a gift. You know, when I hear anybody whining, you know, in, in the office or anything, I'm like, you know what? Let's thank God that we're alive because there's some people that didn't make make it today. You know? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Carla, I want to say thank you. Thank you to your mom, too. Uh, Gracias. For, for, you know, putting up, putting, putting up there. Gracias. <laughs> so... Thank so you, I, uh, I, get, uh, I just appreciate the time you take. I uh, hope everybody who's listening, uh, just so you know, to Carla, if you're cool, I'm going to put your LinkedIn and your, your Instagram and all, all your profiles so people can get in touch with you, reach out to you. I'll share a link about the company just so people can check you out. Thank you. Um, and then, and that's, that's it. That's all she wrote. Thank Thanks. you. Thank I you just, so much. Thank you for your time. Thank and, you, uh, Ricky. Thank you for the opportunity. It's, it's a pleasure. Um, I enjoy looking at your pictures, your boys. Oh my God. They're so adorable. Woo. And your beautiful Stunning. wife, your beautiful wife, your, your, you. just everything you're doing, Ricky. Thank you. And I appreciate Thank you, you I having me in your, in, your, in your podcast. Thank you, Ricky. All right. All right, cool. Well, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you again for tuning in to Cleaning Cocktails. I appreciate you guys listening and tuning in. Uh, and until next time, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Hold cheers, on. Cheers, this cheers. is mine. This is my, oh. my big jar. Oh, there, there and my water. Big jar. <laughs> nice. Thank All you. right, guys. Peace out. Bye.